My name is Lisa McGinley from Square One Training. We're an IT training company that's been established 20 years and I'm passionate about Excel and I'm going to show you a few of my shortcuts which we cover on our standard courses. Okay, I've got Excel 2010 up on my screen but everything I do can be done in any of the Excel screens and the objectives of the session is to show you how to add up very quickly and how to format a spreadsheet using some tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. Uh, first of all, we've got a standard uh, spreadsheet here and I'm going to look at how you add up. So to begin with, I would like to add up in this box here a Microsoft programmed in Excel to automatically look for two numbers above and if there isn't, to go left. So there's no need to highlight, I know it will add them up. So you go up here to auto sum and it will highlight it and you press auto sum again. Most people press enter but the advantage of doing auto sum twice is it leaves you on the box ready to copy down. To copy that down you go to the corner here and you just double click on the corner and that will go down as far as it sees a blank row. We do that again here. So it's, again, put your cursor where you'd like the answer. Auto sum, or highlight the row. Auto sum again. And then you simply double click. One more time. you've done this and you would like to now format the spreadsheet maybe you've got some numbers that aren't adding up or anything like that and you want to do some error checking this is a good shortcut if you don't highlight anything at all in the spreadsheet and press Control G okay this is go to you then press special and you can say I want to highlight or go to my formulas so you just go for that option and you press OK. Sorry, my fault because I clicked into the highlighted the box. So if I just do that again, make sure nothing's highlighted. Control G, special, and you say formulas. Okay, that then highlights the whole formulas within the, this sheet that you're uh, working on at that time. You can then say, I'll have the text bold. And maybe you might decide to give it a colour as well. So I'll just go for the blue standard colour that it's recommending. So straight away now, not only have I made those formulas uh, bold and coloured, that would be great for an error checker because if there was any formulas that weren't coloured or weren't bold, you could see that someone's actually physically typed that in, um, which would save you a lot of time. I'll do that again. Again, make sure nothing's highlighted. Control G. Special. This time, I'm going to format all the headings. So we're going to go constants that are text. So this belongs to this area as well. Okay, so make sure just text is ticked. Press OK. And that has now grabbed all the headings. And I can again maybe make those coloured. Maybe make those, I don't know, italic. Make them look however you want them to look. So you can see straight away that that is a formatted spreadsheet. has all the headings. And that would save you a lot of time. But they're just two very, very short snippets of shortcuts and examples of what we'd show. I hope you found them interesting. Thank you.